Hello and welcome to Software Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at a system utility called Advanced System Care 10. Specifically the free Windows version. Uh, there is also a Mac version and a Pro version as well. It works with Windows XP upwards and is approximately 47 megabytes in size. I'll leave a link in the description be box below if you wish to try it out. Firstly, when you install any new software, please make sure that you have a system restore point set uh, and you've backed up your files just in case something was to go wrong. It's always to be uh, always better to be safe rather than sorry. So what does this software do? Well, it's an all in one PC solver, a PC problem solver in that in, for that matter. It, it fixes speed issues. It could remove spyware, remove junk files, etc, etc. Now, there's lots of other software that does similar things, see Cleaner, for example, but this one is a bit different. So the install was quick and simple, and the first thing that I noticed was the very clear user interface with a deep blue background. Um, it's certainly no doubt that a lot of time went into designing the interface for optimal ease of navigation. The icons and the tabs at the top all clearly spaced and neat, again facilitating ease of, ease of use. I think with many programs of this type, the user gets overwhelmed simply by the number of choices available, which was different in this case because everything was so well laid out, it was uh, not as overwhelming, at least not to begin with. As you will see later on, there's quite a lot to this program um, as we, we delve deeper in the review. When you first open the software, you will be taken to the Clean and Optimize section, this tab at the top here. From here, you will be able to select a several different ways to optimize your machine, um, either one at a time or by just selecting all at once from here. Running the scan and then choosing what you would like to do afterwards. So what I did initially was just use the startup optimization clicking one and then I ran the scan to see what it would bring up. And you can see that it's really quite quick quick as well in its performance. I've already run this before. Uh, I'm running it again just to show you what it what it does. So it says there are two problems that needs to be fixed. The performance is medium and then you can go into the startup items here to see what those items are that can be removed or fixed and it just highlights these two at the top. You've got others at the bottom here. And really all this is doing is going into the MS config area and you can you can do this yourself, not having to use this actual program, but it's nicer to use this because it's an all-in-one uh, application that has everything under, under one roof, so to speak. So if you wanted to get rid of these from startup, you would just simply click on the icon there once you know, of course, you don't want it to start up uh, when your PC starts up. And when I did this initially, I shaved off about 36 seconds on my uh, boot up time for my PC, which was really good. Anyway, you have the option to select multiple uh, optimization techniques here, including things like internet boost, spyware removal, and junk file, junk files clean which is also very handy. So with that in mind, if you keep going through these tabs, the speed up tab here at the top also gives you an option to boost the speed of your machine, including things like Turbo Boost, which looks at the RAM available for use and switches off um, certain programs or services that are not needed so that you can use, uh, you can use the available RAM from that. There's also things like the hardware accelerator which looks at outdated drivers, which would uh, you would need to install another bit of software called Driver Booster to do that. I haven't done that yet. Including things also like deep optimization. Um, and uh, what I like particularly about this software is the fact that it gives you details. If you want to find out what exactly is going on, click the details um, section like this, and it will tell you what it will optimize and give you the option to actually ignore certain things if you don't want to optimize or you're not sure what it does. I think that is definitely a plus for the software. 
the app tool clean cleaner also does something similar in that it looks at different plugins to see if uh, your browser would be bogged down by too many of them and you can check that and check them off if you don't want them to be uh, installed anymore. Again, things that you could do within the browser itself, but because it's all under one suite, it makes things so much easier. Under the Protect tab, you've got things like Face ID. Apparently this is quite new. And what that does, it takes a picture of um, any unauthorized person that would be using, that would be using your machine. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm that paranoid, but uh, it would be that's also a useful uh, a trick to have up your sleeve just in case. And then you can see things that are only available on the Pro Edition, things like browser anti-tracking and real-time protector. These things are only available in the Pro Edition, which uh, retails for 19.99, that's US dollars, or about 17 pounds UK uh, in the UK. You got things like homepage protection, DNS protect, and these things are already on. If you click the details again, it will show you what it actually is doing and it's preventing things from hijacking your browser. So again, that is also um, quite helpful as an overall uh, system package. Going on now, we've got the toolbox area. So clicking on that one and then you see the vast array of uh, functionality available to you in this bit of software. So you've got four or five, four columns that, that shows you each of the things that are available. You have things like a shredder, that's part of the system. So you click on the shredder, it will take you now to the IOBit file shredder and from here you can start shredding files uh, using a certain standards as you can see here. Uh, it's all just in one location and I think and I keep going on about it, but I think that's probably the best part of this software. Um, I noticed that there were arrows here at certain certain numbers of these, like the registry defrag and the program deactivator. And I think what it's doing in the background is downloading software in addition to the advanced system care 10 um, that works sort of in the background as well. Um, I have actually downloaded a couple of these already. Um, let's see what happens when we click on the registry defrag and you can see it pops up now with its own little program that does the registry defrag now i'm thinking that this is all an addition um, to the advanced system kit it's all part of it uh, so it all works in, in, in seamless tandem together i'm just going to cancel that out under the Action Center tab, you have the security and performance section here where you can download further programs to optimize your PC, including things like the driver updater and the disk optimization programs as well. And then at the bottom here, you have the facility to update your software by just clicking the update buttons here, depending on which software you have installed on your machine. So overall, what I like about the software is the user interface, the ease of use, um, the ability to have so many things packed into one system uh, altogether, uh, and maybe just the fact that, uh, you know, for the newbie user out there, it might be a little overwhelming as to how many things you can do with the software. But I think after a bit of experimenting, it would definitely be a plus in your uh, system uh, on your PC to have. So give this a check out if you're interested in, uh, in boosting your PC performance. Uh, it's Advanced System Care 10. Uh, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.